Right? <laughs> no. what, what are you doing in America? One month straight, niggas gone. Mm. I was, <laughs> I went to play. I was on vacation. One in month America. Yeah. Why didn't you go to Shavonga or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's two hours away. I mean, <laughs> I mean for I've, a vacation. No, I've I've, I've been to Shavonga several times. So I wanted to, you know, just you know, have a change of you know environment. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I was there for like um, I was there for a month. I was I toured Miami, Chicago, Atlanta, New York. Chicago, yeah. Miami. I started with Miami. Miami. I started with Miami. Uh huh. Then went to Atlanta. Yeah. Then um, uh, Chicago, New York. Then Chicago. Chicago was Dude, my last. How, how much money are you making to? Because you know people plan like for years just to do one trip mm, to Miami. Mm, you know what mm. I mean? Uh-huh. And then you're there for like a whole month. How much money is Peter, my life, and PML? How's making. PML making? Okay, like on an average month, how much are you making? I'm not, I'm not allowed to tell you how much money I'm making. But why not? I, I want to be inspired like, by PML. How's the no, PML? The thing is, you know, the thing with me is that I'm just good with like, I'm good with planning. You know, I plan for everything that I do. I plan for my trips. I might book a flight today, but I'm, I'm going to probably go six months after. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So my American trip was booked um in december i booked for it in december right and then i went in june okay i'm let's, not that yeah. patient. Let's, talk about, let's talk about a trip You're not like, that patient? I'm, not, I'm not that patient she mm-hmm. wait six months for a trip six months okay let's talk about your trip a, yeah. a trip not your trip okay a trip okay <laughs> hypothetically speaking yeah mm-hmm. this is august yeah oh where are we september september, yeah. september october november december january february march in march i want to go to america mm-hmm how should I start planning for that? How much should I save? What should I put together? How do I plan to well, visit also, four of the big, four of some of the biggest cities, cities in, in the America, US? Yeah. Uh. Well, also, where we know <laughs> hotel rooms are not just bloody expensive, <laughs> the food is expensive. Whatever pump you're gonna book, it's not, it's not, uh-huh. not Lusaka rates. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. what should I start from? Well, it also depends on like what you're going to do there. You know, like it depends on like what activities you're going to do, where mm. you're going to stay, and all that. And then you figure out things out. So, problem. Ah, when you, you hypothetically <laughs> speaking. <laughs> okay. Well, you can even assume that I uh, make a certain amount of money mm-hmm. per month. Okay, let's say on average, I'm pushing a business where I do like 100 pin mm-hmm. per month. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm planning on going in March 2025 to the US. And I'm going to visit Miami, Chicago, Atlanta, yeah. and New York. Or maybe LA as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, LA, so, LA, I hear LA. I've never been to LA. Okay, let's LA talk about the four cities you mentioned. Yeah, how do I plan for that? Maybe like a good, um, <laughs> a good, um, a good <laughs> <laughs> maybe a, a good four hundred thousand. thousand. Yeah, quarter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looks like some of <laughs> some like of us will never see a <laughs> no, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So that includes tickets. Yeah. Uh, Accommodation, yeah. Meals, fun experiences, yeah. So, what fun experiences were you having in America? Well, mm, I did a lot. You know, well, it depends on like where I was. You no, know, Miami is like you know about you know being at the beach, mm. Ocean Drive. So I did like you know boat cruises and um, just a variety of things. You know? I there's there's a picture you posted where you saw a very famous American celebrity. Is it Didi? Oh yes. No, that wasn't that wasn't this 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 it wasn't this previous trip I was on. That was twenty twenty two when I when I was in I was in the US for, in twenty twenty two. Yeah. And you met Didi, so did you what what was he doing at that point? Was he at the at, at some concert or No, what happened was um I we, we were at the club and then we were walking back, you know, because America is all about, you know, walking and whatever, mm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we were walking back to the hotel and then um, he was shooting something in Times Square. Mm. And then it just happened like, oh, oh Diddy's there. And then, you know, I just, yeah. But, but, but how's, how, how's the situation like uh-huh. in terms of security? Is it, is it, no, is, yes. is it something that's very hard to, to, to yes, is it very hard to get to him? Yes, it, it it was. The security was very tight, and um, it was it, it was oh, but because you saw that I, I, I was very close. You are to very you. close to Didi, bro. <laughs> he didn't slap you or kick you. No, no. I don't know. I don't know Just how. I, I don't know Didi how, done did it. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't approach you in any way. No. He didn't Was he being funny? <laughs> Did he no, touch no, no. you <laughs> inappropriately? <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just the PML, the PML vibe. I don't know how I got close to him, but I, I was, yeah. It just Wait, happened. What, 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 what was what, what, what was he wearing in this in the same photo? What was I wearing? Mm. I can't remember. Were you, were you like in white? No, I was in. I think that was like a mm. black coat. I think I was wearing a black coat. Um. What about that? No, I'm just trying to imagine. Yeah. Because, I mean, if, if those guys are going to allow you to get that close to them, they mm. probably assumed you were with them. So you must have been dressed a certain way mm. to, for them to look like you're part of the like clique. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, sometimes. Um, can, we, can, we, can we get this photo on the screen? Go. If you can airdrop it. Do you have the photo on your phone right now? The what? The, your fo- the that photo. Same photo. It's a video. I have a video, actually. Oh, it's a video. It was yeah. actually a video, eh? Yeah, I have a video. Go, we can put it in later, yeah? Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a small clip. Yeah. So it was Didi and and the uh, then girlfriend, Young Miami. Oh, they were together, Young Miami. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you didn't speak to any of them. No, I never spoke to any of them. I was just being a fan, who just got lucky being close to. First them. of all, how did you even get into this party to be that close to Didi? No, it wasn't a party. Oh, like, it was then. Yes, okay. I was coming from the club, and then they were shooting something in, in Times Square, and then I happened to just like you know, also be in Times Square. Dude, so for the math I gave you, where I said if I'm making mm-hmm. like a hundred grand a month, mm-hmm. it means I wouldn't quite afford to go to the United States. I mean, if I need like a four hundred thousand, we're not saying that's no, what you, you can, spent. No, you can. That's what I'm saying. It depends mm. on like the stuff that you're going to do there. Like you can, you can, you can even go on a hundred. You know, with a hundred, with a, with hundred thousand, we can no, even go with eighty. I, I want to go like you with a four hundred pin. You know what I mean? You won't manage. <laughs> 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 with podcast money with podcast money hmm? are, are, are you then saying are, are our sponsor should it? exactly our sponsor should beef it up a bit eh? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um so i mean for somebody to spend that much and i'm not saying it's really big exorbitant mm-hmm. money but i'm just trying to imagine what house of pml is doing like on, an, on let's talk annual basis mm-hmm no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about you know I don't want to talk about figures. But the thing you, you know with House of PML is, mm. um, I've built a brand that is trusted, and right. yeah, that is trusted, and people trust me to do things for them, to do to make outfits for them. So mm-hmm. yeah, and so I don't want to talk figures because then you're gonna start you know envisioning you know. Can and I then, can I make an estimate? They'll get just, bl- just blink are, twice. You, are you scared that they'll confiscate your crew crew? Nothing can be confiscated because uh, <laughs> there's nothing illegal that's being that's being done. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's that, there's that, it's, it's just basically yeah, that. Yeah. is hungry these days, man. No, we had been, five ZRA agents in yeah, the studio just a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. okay. I'm not sure what they wanted here, but uh, they spoke about DJs paying taxes in Zambia. Or they want, they want you guys to pay taxes? No, I, I brought it up, to be honest. He brought it up. You don't pay taxes? We, paid, we do pay taxes. So, so Switcher, how do you pay taxes? We, we do pay. We, the House of PML pays taxes. Switcher, how do you pay taxes again? <laughs> do you even know what ZRA officers are? <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Is that a fruit? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... Um, we pay taxes through... Buying drinks. The VAT ca- comes in the drinks. Ca- that VAT that comes... From On the receipt the, when you buy yeah. drinks? Mm. Yeah. Right. Because well, if, if, if you drink your Absolute or your Hennessy, Kunabakaraka 16%, so we, we do pay t- taxes. But nothing from your income, like an income tax, pay as you earn, no? Nah, in most cases, most transactions go through other um, mobile telecom. Eh? What do you call that? M- money transfer methods like mobile money. and. Oh, okay. Gosh, have you, have you guys attended one of this guy's gigs? Um, Switcher's house. Go, but I know you've attended because you shoot those those videos. I have actually. Main major, yeah. you've oh, been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. You've you've been to one as well. Yeah, man. If you ever see a poster or advert on Instagram for a Switchers House gig coming up, attend one of those gigs because I think that's the closest we have in this country to having like an international gig organized yeah. by Do you have a DJ. One coming like up? I don't think I'm yeah. pulling those Do you have gigs one coming up, up in Chancellor? Uh, 20, 20, 20, 29th of September, September Granddad's oh. event. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it the 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 thing about Switchers House is that. 
I constantly want to improve it. So we made a few mistakes on the first one and then Zesco messed us up on the second one. So <laughs> there's I'm, no place in heaven for Zesco. Bro. bro, they are all going to hell because what was that? Yeah. yeah. You know? So yeah, the, the the next one is actually on the 20, 29th of September. Granddad is the venue. Uh I've got a couple of I'm trying to switch up the lineup this time around mm -hmm. because I feel like most of the DJs that I worked with on, on the previous one and the other one were not really as supportive, eh? Not in a bad way, in that yeah, way. But, yeah. bro, if I'm hiring you or if I ask you to be part of my lineup, I expect you to post, like to constantly post. Yeah. You, 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 and, and like, I, I felt, I felt like I kept on, <clears throat> pushing them to post and that shouldn't be the case you know what i mean mm. so I'd, on the next one i'd rather work with pretty dope but young and upcoming okay uh, djs that are looking for a platform and then this nigga went on another <coughs> podcast with chumaka to shoot us right in our asses man to another hole in our that. behinds i didn't watch that what was what was being said Switcher, what was that about I, I, was, I was just speaking my truth bro what's your truth switcher my truth is... <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing <laughs> you know what this nigga did? When he goes to Chumweka's uh, podcast, mm -hmm. Ish, doesn't he attack that Z podcast? Those niggas just want guess who they can trend with. Yeah, no, but that's have... true. No, it's not the truth. No, that's that's the point. Point. Yeah, no, 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 no. I no, had no, a point. No. Here's the no. thing about Zambians. Uh. Mm -hmm. You will see me do a charity-related gig. Yeah. I'll call you and you won't show up, right? Because obviously, for me, for me to actually truly show my work somehow, I need some kind of publicity. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Not, I gave charity just like, as, as, as one of the examples. You don't pay attention to that. And, 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 and I'm not only talking about Zambian media, right? Right. If, if it like social media, right? No, mm -hmm. I think you should talk about them because I want to I wanna hear what's... what's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what so I'm, I'm wanna, getting yeah. there, bro. Why, why, so why, even why with why social you media... Why being so humble when you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh -huh. look, look, bro. I think, I think Zambians naturally just glorify bullshit. Bro. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. like you see somebody doing something very constructive, you won't pay attention to that. Exactly, like what you guys did to I'll me. give an... The, mm. last time, the last time I was... Ah, in, Peter. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's talk last, about this. Yeah, the last time I was... Just, you know, the last time Peter. I was in this show, uh. these guys, instead of them talking about me and, you know... My, your life, your growth, your My brand, work, you know, yeah. like how I started, you know, because for me, you know, my brand is all about, you know, inspiring, you know, like... Trying to, you know, try to inspire the next youth and just trying to give them that information to say, mm. you, you know, you can also do it. Right. But you guys didn't focus on that. What did we focus on, Peter? You yes. guys focused on something else. What did we focus yes. on, Peter? The rubbish that people talk about what did we, me. What rubbish, Peter? <laughs> because that's what trends, right? Because he wants to talk about that now. And then he knows people are going to come up again and start talking about the same stuff. No, here's yeah, the thing. That's guys, trend. Listen, that was, yeah, because that's what's Listen, let me uh -huh. tell you something about that Z podcast. Half the time... I, we, feel, I feel like that's why you haven't had... Um, Certain people come on your show. Like True say. Mampi? Has Mampi been here? No. Oh, yeah. God. You know, remember we recorded Mampi on the same day with you? In Livingston? Oh, uh, and you didn't air it because she felt yeah, it was she felt some type of... Yeah, way. because you, you asked weird stuff. Provoking <laughs> stuff. Yes. No. Here's for, the thing. For clickbait. No, no, no. no, no, no. Before... Uh, be, here's uh -huh. the thing, bro. You see somebody doing something very constructive, yeah. right. right? You won't cover that at all. Yeah. But when Muzukanji sneezes, I'm <laughs> like, I need to smile. Muzukanji, like, what the hell is that, bro? Uh, so how do you justify yeah. that? How Your do you, Max is how performing. Do you, okay. Um, how have we described this podcast to start with? This is an entertainment and mm -hmm. lifestyle podcast, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So people coming to watch this podcast are first of all looking for what? Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Others want to know about lifestyles, like Peter's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We've brought business guests as well on this podcast. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we've had the ShopRite CEO, Zambia CEO, our mm -hmm. general manager, Mr. It's ShopRite Kalinga. Yeah, Mr. Charles Bota. Yes, it, but it's What's ShopRite. What's viral about that video? But it still did it's, go. The numbers are big on that episode as well. It's you know ShopRite. I mean? Why can't you put on a DJ who's up and coming? Shine 
a spotlight uh-huh. on people like that. So a young designer. Listen, so this podcast falls in a category of long conversation format. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. So if I'm going to bring in an upcoming DJ, what has he done that we're going to talk about for an hour or two hours? You'll be oh. shocked. You'll be so shocked. And then secondly, we've got sponsors who are here for the numbers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not that we've gone too commercial that we forget that there's people who want to get substance out of this podcast. But mm-hmm. we need to look at this from two, from two angles. Mm-hmm. There's a sponsor who's coming here because they've seen the numbers that we've garnered in the past. And they want those numbers to continue because they've got products to sell. Mm-hmm. So that's why they came. And they're looking for those numbers to sell too. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, if I'm going to bring someone who, first of all, it's not going to give me a compelling story that people want to hear or watch okay. on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Numbers are going to be low. That's bad for our business side of things. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Secondly, I want to sit here as a podcast um, host mm-hmm. to listen into an interesting story like mm-hmm. Peter. Peter gave us a very interesting episode last time we did an episode with him in Livingston. But, mm-hmm. but you know the problem I have with... Now, listen, listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, when a person like Peter comes on... And you guys are talking about controversy. One item will come up. Peter will go home and say, those guys called me just for that one thing. But that was an, an hour-long episode. Mm-hmm. Didn't we talk about other things in your life? Isn't that how your friend came up as well? That beautiful chick. What's her name? Yeah, but the, yeah, but the, the main focus was on... No, it wasn't, know. man. Come on. It was. Even, even go up. Yeah. So, okay, so, Wait, your mic's on, right? Uh, <laughs> that's that's if we had the same issue. Try. Okay, wait. Let me just try the two. Hack two. Go. One two. One two. One two. Uh, wait. One two. One two. All right. One two. Okay. All right. So, uh, just to back up with that, we we plus. The thing with the Z podcast is this, right? Hmm. The Z Podcast is, is on YouTube, mm-hmm. right? And most people see the first episode on Facebook. Mostly it's me who edit those things. And for me to edit those things, I just pick the controversial things so that you can watch the, the whole episode. Because of what you described, the way Zambians are, they'll follow the controversy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So if, <coughs> if, if I put in a promo, oh, my name is Switcher, I was born in ABCD, I'm a DJ, and that, 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 that. People won't watch the episode, bruh. If I if I if I put the moment, oh, DJs did not support me. I put that in the episode. You see how many views that? Who who, 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 are, who are those people? Because check, there are people that are very big on the streets, right? Mm. But are not popular on social media. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. no. I'm trying to back up the, the fact you said that we, we 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 call people for controversy. No, no, no. It's a problem. But it is what it is. That's what they, that's it. And also, guys, you we, can digress. Not, <laughs> we've, oh! we've not had. Uh... <laughs> but you see, again, um, that's a podcast. Mm-hmm. Like we've said, time and time again, is an unscripted show. The conversation could go anywhere. Yeah. Like right now, digress. we're still on the America topic, mm-hmm. but we've come to talk about what you said on another podcast, and we'll come back to the America issue because we're not done. We've digressed. So it's not, and people come here because it's not scripted and it doesn't follow. It's not a linear kind of podcast. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. a conversation. It's not like ZNBC. Exactly. Thank you very much. Where do you see yourself in five years? So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> 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 Back to Peter. <laughs> where do I see myself in five years? Um, obviously, you know, I've been making international connections. Right. You know, with the trips that I've been making. So, obviously, I see myself, you know, setting up a store somewhere probably maybe you, you know you, you you know you always start small i have mm. i have a store here so maybe probably something in south africa from south africa maybe to new york Dude, we discussed this last week and you yeah. said i can't open a store anywhere because i won't be able to physically i won't be able to be there physically to manage a store outside of lusaka no but then yeah it just has to happen it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's part of it's, it's, it's part of the journey. Yeah, it's oh. part of the journey. Dude, and it, this guy is making a suit for me right now as we speak, mm-hmm. right? And we're in his office last week. And I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, there's so much going on in the factory. Why aren't you expanding to other towns? There's people traveling all the way from Kitwe to have a mm-hmm. suit made by House of PML. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there are examples. Dude, I'm in his office and a queue is forming outside yeah. his office. People were lining up wow. to have yeah. suits done. 
And it's, it's telling me half of those people are not even from Lusaka. Yeah. So I'm like, so why not open branches? And it says people want to see me. The thing is, that's people, when they're confident. You know. Yes. What I mean? Okay, yeah, that's so thing, true. Yeah. Though. The thing is, people want to. That's wanna, so true. People want to see me. Sometimes there's, you know, there's customers that will come and they'll find my assistant. And like, is Peter around? No, he's not around. And they will leave because they want to. Yeah. They want to. They want to see me. They feel yeah. like if they saw my assistants, things wouldn't come out the way they're supposed to come out. So my brand is built around that. So. You know, some t- there's times when I'm literally even just like out, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not in a country and then there's just chaos going on. The moment I'm back, things are just like, you know, back to normal. So there's certain, certain times I just feel like, am I really going to manage, you know, having to open something in the Copa Belt? Because how many times will I be found in the Copa Belt? No, no, to- no. Maybe, maybe you should grow this brand to a point where it can run without you. And by that, I mean... It does, actually. It does. I mean, I was I mean, in the you US... you go to America for, yeah, a, for month. a month. Yeah, for a month. It does, but... I think it's... I don't know. It's just... I get you, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I hear you, 100%. I'll give an example. So, the fact that I'm a DJ, so I'm, t- mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about sound, right? Mm-hmm. When I'm at a concert, before I start playing, if I see sound wave, I want to see Ringman. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you feel the sound won't be loud. Yeah, mm, exactly. Mm, you know what I'm saying? So mm. I totally get you. But then, which also brings me to the question I've been meaning to ask, right? How, how do you then deal with a difficult client? <sighs> well, you know, dif- difficult clients... Or, or have you ever difficult. had an encounter where you have some kind of rough banter with a client? Uh, well, nothing, nothing too drastic because, um, you know, I... You know, I respect my clients. First of all, mm-hmm. you know, the number one thing that I feel most um, SMEs or like people like uh, like me who are like, you know, starting businesses, the one thing that we miss on is respecting your clients. Yeah. Because I feel like the number one thing that you need to do is you need to respect someone who's having that, you know, that time to give you money. Respect mm-hmm. them and respect mm-hmm. their time. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing that House of PML has built and this is why um you've seen the success because when someone comes to me i'm very good with time you know well, someone will tell me oh i need my outfit on the 15th i will make sure their outfit is ready by the, by 15th. the 15th yes if it's not ready i'll contact them and say, oh sir we've delayed because of this and that but just make sure don't panic your outfit will be delivered that's what i work on and and I feel like this is this is something that people take pride in to just like you know come into house of PML and booking me because because of that. Ah, okay. I have dealt with you know difficult clients, but I know how to you know always take care of my people. M- maybe yeah. your, your your setup might be different from mine because I do I have to do with <laughs> drunk people. You know <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but 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 like uh, but at the end of at the end of the day, work gets to be done. Yeah, yeah. Peter. There's, um, I remember the last episode we had you, we, we spoke about, you know, your beginnings and how mm-hmm. you would pick materials and just put them together and all that. I'd love to get where your motivation comes from the most, because mm-hmm. in my opinion, you can get motivation from a negative source. Mm-hmm. You can get motivation from a positive source. Mm-hmm. And I'll give an example. From the negative source, there are people who tell you or who told you that, you couldn't go anywhere with fashion because tailors yeah. is what first comes to their mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tailors don't do anything. They end up in the markets just fixing trousers yeah. and things mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. That's the negative side of things. And there's a positive side. Those yeah. who believe in you, just do it. You can make it. Yeah, just do it, yeah. A lot of, in my case, I've drawn a lot of inspiration and motivation from the negative side. What, what works for you? Well, you know, some, you know I, don't, I don't dwell so much on the negative side. Mm. There's a lot of things that have, that have been said about me that is not true, can never be true, has never been true. Mm. So I don't dwell so much on that. I just think about me and where I'm going. You know, me being here didn't, start, didn't happen overnight. Mm-hmm. It's something that I've grown up with. Growing up, when I was in high school, yeah. I used to be a photographer. This is, oh, <laughs> yeah, have, yeah, yeah. I would have never guessed. Came, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually came with my 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 actual, my, my camera. I think it's right there. Just, oh, serious? Let's see. Just oh, right this is the one you were saying you want Gob to be editing the content. Yes, yes. Do mm. you see that? Can we? Yeah. Yes, you can. Now this this was my. Were you a photographer or a cameraman? A camera boy. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna switch. Up. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> 
No, you were a cameraman. <laughs> yeah, I was a this, cameraman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? What? Yeah. This thing still works in 2024. I don't know if it, if it still works, but because my mom kept it for me. So, wow. Yeah, she kept it for me and uh, she brought it when she came to visit me. She's like, oh, I found this. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This so, camera, man. so this was like, I, I used to use this in like 20, I think 2005, 2006. Say cheese. 07. <laughs> I used to use this. So I used to I used to be a camera boy, like mm. variety. You know how we like you had variety like variety shows. shows. Lot, but, yeah. yeah, I used to be the, the guy that, you know, takes no, please, pictures. Please zoom in on this, man. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be the guy that takes that's, that's this is why you've seen so even I'm flipping at my, my camera my, by today's standards. Yo. That's, that's why you that's why you've seen my Instagram is like well, you know, curated and mm, stuff. Mm, my pictures mm. cuz I have that eye for, mm. you know, photography. So Maybe one day we might switch and get back to like switch it, switch it up. So yeah. there's a film. There's a, actually a film in here. I don't. No, no, no. I don't think there's, there is. <laughs> film. Yeah, they're yeah. negative now. So I'm sorry. Entire team boy, no pictures. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, so I was we'll just about... inform you. I'm a photo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did memory, yeah. so I... It's really dope, man. So I was talking. So I was talking yeah, about how, yeah. like, how my my success has, has has been. It's it's nothing that happened overnight. It's always been, you know, I've always been a hustler. I've always been, you know, I've always been moving from this challenge to the next. So I was doing this when I was in high school. When I went to uni, I started selling phones. I was that guy that used to that used to sell. Huh? I used to sell BlackBerry phones. In, oh, I thought I heard. I, I started by stealing phones. No, 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 no. <laughs> I <laughs> I used to sell BlackBerry phones. Well, yeah, that was common back in the day, right? <laughs> yeah. I used to, so I've sold phones as well. Like so, you know, one day we might might be in competition with when I mark when I you right know, price when I right price. Yes, yes. Because I've done a lot, you know. So right. me getting to this level, I have been through, you know, as like different you know, things in life that have just, like, you know, made me stronger and just got me to, to a point where I was like, you know what, Peter, I think this is what you need. Because also designing is it's something that I've always grown up with. Mm. Growing up, I always liked looking good. I always so liked so how did you settle for that? How, you know how I settled for it was... Well, also because the market wasn't saturated by the time I was starting. Mm-hmm. When Kandaya 2 had already been there, though. Well, there were always... Like one or two guys. A Snoko, maybe, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And you know one thing I need to do? I need to give a Snoko his flowers. Mm-hmm. Give him. Yes. This is yes, one thing... You can, you can use this one. Yeah. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> no, I feel like Esnoko is one of you know is one of the people that literally paved the way for like people like me. Serious. And yeah, yeah, people like me and others that are you know I can't mention, but I'm speaking for myself. Mm. Others that are like doing what I'm doing. He paved the way because we used to see what he used to do, and we're like, oh, you know, this is normal because you know, three years, four years ago. It was like, oh, I'm not Taylor, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taylor, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not DJ, yeah, not DJ F. F. you know? But, but, you know, looking at this, looking at it now, it's mm. different. It's different. <clears throat> People are like, oh, so you can actually, like, you know, be this and be respected you know people yeah. didn't people didn't consider a makeup artist people didn't com- consider a hairstylist but now it's when people see how people are traveling going to new york now bro, they're like, i mean a, a ben Lombard, bro, in a yeah. range rover bro. You know so now they can say oh actually people are making money because this is what has been going on in the western world for the longest longest time yeah. and being someone who's like exposed, I've been with people. I'll ask them, well, "What do you do for a living?" Oh, they're like, "Oh, I'm a dancer," and I'm not supposed to get surprised by that. Yep, someone makes money through dancing. A lot, a of, lot it. of money. What do you do? Oh, I do content creation. Oh, what do you? Do? So I'm not supposed to get shocked by like, "Oh, you oh, create content, content, content creation." Yeah, yeah. I know I'm hearing other things from you. Now. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. no. You also heard yeah, condom, right? Yeah, yeah. You, what, what? Yeah, no, no, no. For real, I'm <laughs> telling you, you said condom creation. I'm like, no, hey, content. Is that a new career? No. <laughs> and you said, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I meant content creation. No, yeah. yeah. No, People no, create content for a living. So, and it's only now when, you know, Zambians, we are slowly getting to, uh, you know, uh, respect. And... Chiza is one of the people that, you know, I look up to and I'm still inspired. And yeah, he's done well for the Zambian fashion industry. Fashion industry. Were, were, were yeah. your parents very supportive from, from No, from they the weren't. They, they weren't. Um, well, now they are. Like, because like, they've seen the money, right? Exactly. Ah. 
takes no, time. but also I don't blame them because the thing is also because of the same thing I'm talking about, like where we're coming from. We're coming from, uh, you know, a generation where we didn't believe that, oh, if someone is a tailor can, you know, create an empire and, you know, do this. So they also came from that. And they actually made me, you know, uh, study a course that I wasn't even interested in. I did agriculture. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shima farm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I did agriculture. I was at Mulungushi. Did it for four years, leading up to my last semester when I just said, you know what, I think this is not what I want. And I just, you know, embarked on this, you know, um, fashion journey. <clears throat> and now they, you know, now they, 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 they believe in my dream and they are full supporters. Um, I, 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 I want us to get to a point where African parents will actually focus on, like, identify what you like yep. and support. Yeah. Because when I was starting out as a DJ, my mm. parents didn't even know. They didn't know, yeah? My now parents, they can't even remember my, my government name because they call me switcher all the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah but, bro, they are seeing the check. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it, it, I, I think for me, because I come from a home where it's very Christian, mm. very... Because dad used to preach in the, in the Catholic church mm, sometimes. Mm. So it was very hard for me to... But I think he knew. Because I tried a couple of things growing up, but they were all centered around music. Oh, and what, okay. Yeah, so okay. it's like mom expected it. So she wasn't as shocked as my dad. But now they're happy, right? You know, you know how my good. parents mm-hmm. found out that I was a DJ? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I used to sneak out. Like, um, I would wait. Like, my bedroom was right next to theirs. Mm-hmm. And... I knew like clockwork. My parents, 20, 30 shop, their bedroom light goes off. Mm. You know what I mean? The mm. house goes quiet. Mm. And I would time it so well. You stomach with the TV. Okay, we we'll don't sleep early. 2030. We we'll don't sleep early. <laughs> okay, they would sleep early. I would time it. Mm-hmm. They sleep. House goes quiet. I know 21, I can leave because everybody's fast asleep. And my bedroom had no burglar bars. Quiet house. I would sneak out, go DJ like maybe 22 to 02, come back. Nobody got any wiser. Mm. And this went on for like a month. Next thing, two months. Next thing, there's a DJ's contest in Kitu. like a national DJ's contest. Lusaka so, DJs came to Kitu as well. Oh, and things was, like it, that. was it the Sprite? No. This was, a, I think, organized by some... I can't remember who organized oh, it. Okay, but it was quite okay. a big thing. There was TV. There was newspaper mm. and everything. So I sneak out for the DJ's contest. And I came out second. DJ Busy Wizzy was number one. Mm. Tell me why the papers had to report that and put it on the front page on Monday. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they did work. Dude, my mom is knocking off and she never knocks off with the newspaper. That mm. day, newspaper in her armpit. <laughs> comes in the kitchen. Bah, displays it on the table. There I am, front page. <laughs> yeah, DJ's contest. And the guy was so detailed in how he described how everything went at 2 in the morning. Uh, Busy Wizzy went in at 3, K Plus went in, but the judges picked Busy Wizzy because he spoke in the microphone. K Plus did not. Oh. And Shine Shine did. The winner was being announced by 4.30 a.m. Mm. So like... Watch my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> if you're participating in this, when did you start DJing? Mm. <laughs> well, about that. Yeah. And then... After that... And you know, you get to, you get to lectures from your parents. Like, your father as well. You start getting lectures about HIV and pregnancies <sighs> mm. and DJs are dying like mm. flies and mm. went through you know, it. Same thing, eh? Went through it, bro. But I, I brought that up because for me, even from a young age, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. You know what I mean? Like even being sent to college, that's why I dropped out. I already mm. knew what I wanted to do with my life. For me, there was like that little voice from a tender age. Even the first time I ever came to Lusaka. You know how exciting it is yeah. to come to a big city? I think yeah. I came to Lusaka first time when I was like in grade four or five. Mm. People are excited, were excited about coming to Lusaka for other reasons. To play around and whatever. For me, I wanted to see what the radio stations looked like. Oh, okay. Wow. That's the first thing I wanted to see. I knew, what I, I knew I wanted to be on the microphone. I love being on the microphone. You know what I mean? So why didn't you use it when you had the DJ, at the DJ contest? I know, right? <laughs> I was focused on other things. <laughs> but I bring that up because for me, I had that little voice inside of me from the time I was like a kid. I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it the same for you with fashion? You know, yeah, we always know. We always okay. know. Yeah. yeah. We, oh, we, when, we, when, did that, when did that voice speak to you? I, I can't pinpoint which year, mm. but like... Okay, which age range, kind of? You know, I always, I always dressed myself a certain way. 
you know, even growing up, I used to make, you know, I used to sew using a needle, like, you know. Also, you know, the reason, I think also what inspired it was because, you know, growing up, I, I, I grew up a fat kid. I was mm. that, <laughs> now you're looking at me. Um. <laughs> He's, he's like, oh, you're still fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not fat. No, you're not fat. No, no, no listen, listen. So, so I grew up a fat kid. So, so. No, but you have gained weight, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the burgers in America. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's free weight. mind. Money happy, weight. Yeah, mm, yeah. Mm. Money weight, nice weight. Happy, yeah, happy weight, as you say. Yeah, yeah you were saying? You used to dress up? So uh, growing up, I, you know, I couldn't find clothes that were fitting me because I was uh, fat and short. <laughs> so when my mom goes in the store to buy yeah. clothes, you know, she couldn't find my sizes. So she mm. always t- she, so she always took me to tailors. And then you'd find, oh, wow. yeah, so she took me to tailors to have things made, like my uniforms <laughs> and whatever. I'm sure there was a in that. Wardrobe. Yes, it's there. It's there. <laughs> so you find, <laughs> so you find I that. Those things. <laughs> He's dying. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> ah, safari suits, bro. <laughs> so she used to take me to tailors. Yeah. And then you know how you know how tailors always disappoint with, you know, outfits? Mm. I would find myself at a tailor from, like, morning up to, like, you know, the whole day waiting for... So with that, I ended up, you know, having that fascination. Like, you know what? Why can't I just make things for myself? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I started trying. Like, you know, like, even when I have, like, some, like, some shorts that I've, like, you know... Ripped somewhere, I'll do it myself instead of having to take it to because I'm thinking, Mr. Peary, Mr. Who is gonna take forever mm. for this thing to come back. So I started doing them myself, and with that, I developed that you know the, just that the love, and I think I was probably like, like probably like seventeen, sixteen. Mm. My mom got me a machine. Mm. At least she was supportive. Yeah, yeah at least she was supportive. Was, you know, moms are yeah always supportive. Mm. Yeah, so she was she, she was always me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> with the DJ thing now she was very against that no uh, she was like yeah. I, yeah yeah. so she, she she got me a machine and that's how I started you know making le- clothes yeah making my own clothes fat clothes yeah fat clothes <laughs> 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 and here we are mm-hmm. now we're making clothes for people yeah okay so so are you only specialized in suits or are, are you are you at some point thinking of venturing into stuff like apparel no, um, a lot of people have told me to do that, but I just feel like my niche and what people know me for mm. and my identity, because, you know, before House of PML and before anything else, people knew Peter my life. So, mm. yeah, people, people knew Peter my life. Before I, before I even introduced myself as a fashion designer or came up as a fashion designer, people used to see how I used to look and how I used to right, dress. Right. And mm. they're like, who does your outfits? Who makes your outfits? So why where do you buy guy, them from? Mm. Why do you buy them from? Like, why are they always nicely tailored? People didn't know that I was doing stuff in the background. Mm. Until mm. it got to a point where I think I was ready to now, like, you know, I think I'm ready to now, like, you Make know, start for the people. making this for people. Yeah. So I think my identity <laughs> is basically suits. So and it, I've tried, even you know, sometimes I would try to even just, like, post something on my Instagram. Like, you know, I would wear, like, you know, streetwear, sneakers. I see the engagement on that is like, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit funny, but but the moment I come out with a suit, there's always engagement. I know mm. people want people people like that, so right. I feel like that's my identity. Anything no, else that I would venture I've, in? I've, I've, wouldn't... So sorry, I think even the Instagram, that's how the Instagram algorithms work. Yeah. So if 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 you come up on Instagram, posting a certain thing, a certain thing, go with I, that. I, I I I had a very interesting conversation with. Um, one of Zambia's female pilots. Okay. She's based in Asia. Her name is Namwezi. Okay. She also told me the same thing. Like, bro, if you're going to post something, yes. be consistent with yeah. one thing. Yeah. Because the, the moment she posts herself at a restaurant eating nice food, the engagement is yeah, always low. But when she posts an aircraft... Oh, because it's also, yeah. also going to put on discovery with yes, yes. aircraft lovers. Yes. And things exactly, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah it's like that. Because that's the, I don't know, I, I think it's AI also because yeah, it is, yes, yeah. yes. has to do with AI because I've noticed that so many times. I feel, even like, like I I don't like to, I don't like to post my work like my mm-hmm. process and whatever whatever I don't like to show that because that's my you know busy moment so I don't have time to create content but usually usually the, the moment I post that people want to see and I see there's huge engagement with that so yeah but also you know it's crazy how I've noticed in Zambia we don't create content have you noticed that we don't yeah. create content we don't create content what do you mean. 
What I mean is Mix that Mix customer creates content. Hmm? Mix customer creates content. That's why you know him. Because he creates content. Yeah, but he's saying we don't create content. No, I, you there's know, a few. There's a few people that create content. Because, you know, I the reason why I'm saying this is because my name got known internationally because I create content. Mm. How, did I, how did I get on the AMVCA stage? Right, as a fashion Be, designer. As a fashion designer. And they introduced me as a Zambian fashion designer to go and present that award the, at the AMVCAs in Nigeria. Mm. It's because... I've got a Nigerian crowd that follows me and they know because right. I create content. You know, I create, I've been creating content from like, ever since I, I joined Instagram, I've been creating content and I've been consistent. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes like I might, I might get busy followers, and whatever, whatever. But like, I always create content. So but are, you, are you, are you also the type that would go to America, take a lot of content Come back to Zambia after a month, but <laughs> six months after, you're still posting the same American of content. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> How would they know? <laughs> you're not they know? They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm, anyway, no, but bro, I saw you at East Park, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, look listen. Mm? Are you, you're you're going go to you're gonna go to America, take mm? all these pictures, and keep them in your phone. No, For it's, who to see? I, I can throw back, not on a Monday, bro. No, but you cannot. You, you, there, are your, there are pictures. Post them. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it takes two years, post them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, still, I'm, I'm, I'm still posting content from 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 the US. If it looks good, I why think not? I, yeah. th I, th I think I think I, I actually just need to stop paying attention to what people say yeah. or think because. I equally have a lot of content. You need to start posting content. But I it, like it only ends on my story. No, no, no. Not on my feed. That's, you know, that's, uh, also that's, that's one thing that, um, I've been thinking of just having like a social, <clears> like <throat> I've been thinking of having like a masterclass where, you know, I can just talk about like social media and what social media has done for my life. Mm. And this is the funny thing. This is why people ask, oh, how is it doing this? How is he, you know, why is it doing better than others? It's because, I'm on social media because mm -hmm. I'm moving with time. You know, I'm moving with time. When people are doing it the traditional way, I'm doing it the, you know, the, the modern, modern way. way. Yeah, yeah. Let me guess. The yeah. people who say that are black people actually who are very, even could be close to you. Yeah. And I think the rationale with a black mm. mindset is mm. they want to see you doing good, yeah. but not better not than better them. Not better than them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so exactly. true. But why are we like that though? That's just the way we are. We ish. It is what it is. It it's is a very, that's a very, sensitive topic to touch on <laughs> topic to touch on because touch on a it. lot of people will actually attest to the fact that they've been victims of um, such yeah people but just don't want to see you grow bro we, yeah. we don't love each other Zambians. but we need to start creating content i see i'm i'm not, I'm not a gen z i'm a millennial but i see so many gen z's that don't even know content creation am i anyone would agree with me they don't create content. I'm looking at the kids. I'm looking at kids from, from Unza, from, from Unilas. They're not creating content. And then I've got friends from the U.S., like young Gen Z's that are posting, you know, uh, get ready with me, you know, content. Mm. And, but I'm looking at my locals, like Zambians, like guys, like, you know, like, where are you? Like, like who, where, where are these people who are supposed to be creating this content? Like, and then when I create it, they're like... <sighs> Exactly. You know. Do what you I mean? do 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 you do it yourself? Do you I edit? Do, yeah, I do everything myself. Yo. I do everything myself. And I recently opened up a YouTube channel. You guys need to follow me. Follow me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. My YouTube, yes, my YouTube channel is Peter My Life. Follow me there. Subscribe. I do everything myself. A shameless I edit. plug. Shameless plug. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> So I edit my I edit my content. I shoot everything myself. You know, people, every, yeah. every, every Even, time I... And also another funny thing is people ask when you're on vacation, who takes your pictures? Uh -huh. mm. so who takes your videos? Anyone that's with me. And that's where Who are you with? And that's where the question yeah, I was getting to that. <laughs> that's where the questions come. That, who, who is it traveling with? Um usually like I was uh, I went to um, I went to Europe, I think that was like three months ago. Mm. Uh, it's on my YouTube, it's there. Um I was alone. I just decided, you know... Peter, why aren't you I just, dating? I just started off and I, I was there alone. Why aren't you dating? Yeah. Why is it, why is it, what, makes it, what makes me think he's not dating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is he traveling alone all the time? The girl is in school? She's in school? Maybe. Are you dating Valerie? <laughs> 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 This guy is still on that topic. I'm still on that topic. <laughs> we left. <laughs> we left that child a long time ago. Are you still there? 
Maybe he was dating a girl called Valerie last year. No, I said you left the chat last year. Okay, were you really dating or was it a publicity stunt? It was never a publicity stunt. We are good friends. We're still good friends and we might be dating. <clears throat> I like the mystery of things, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just like the mystery of things. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? I like the mystery of things. I like, I like when people are like, mm, what's that? What's that? I like that. So, Valerie is, um, she's a good friend and we are in a good space and we are having fun with life. Dude, I, and we are enjoying each other. Enjoying you are each other. Enjoying each other. Yeah. More than just company. Okay. We are You're enjoying ah, each other. Nice. We are okay. enjoying each other. She's good people she, though. She is. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, we saw you at 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 at, at Soho uh, last weekend. I was with her. Oh, for real? Yeah, that was my birthday. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, my birthday. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of comments. Uh, people <laughs> asking me to ask you, what do you mean enjoying each other? Oh, they wanna know. Yeah. Why enjoying each other? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever enjoyment means, isn't it? <laughs> Why enjoyment? <laughs> Why enjoyment? Why one form of enjoyment? There's a lot of this different. Oh, for me, guys, it's about any little money. Oh. Uh, enjoyment. That's the enjoyment I'm talking about. Yeah. So, when you say enjoying each other, it's. Well, yeah. No, we're having fun with life. We're having fun with life. So, she's the woman in your life right now. <laughs> no. No, don't answer for her. <laughs> uh, no, we're enjoying each other. I never expected it. No, he's 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 speechless. Is there a mic? Y- you're different. No, it's because you guys are expecting something. Really you can say it again. You were saying. Because you guys are expecting something. What do you think we're expecting? Mm-hmm. Whatever you're expecting, I don't know. I, yeah. No, I just no, ask. I just answer. ask questions. But you know that me enjoying each other means having a good time. Yeah, having friends, a good time. You know. Life, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, having a good time. Is there sex involved? Oh, by the way, that's not Valerie in the background. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No, having like a good time. enjoying each other. Is there sex involved? Is there kissing involved? Is there touching involved? What's what's bro? Let's move on. They are enjoying each other. That's it. Yes, switcher. Time. He was about to be clear <laughs> about this, and you cut him short. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of girls dying to see who gob is oh you see the comments i like when people be gob like who's who's, who's the guy from kitu again that you met last week yeah the guy was waking me up late at night because you guys met somewhere the guy was excited so this is gob Uh this is gob we just see him in the background all the time it's like a ghost Feature or something on your show. Ghost, ghost, ghost lead. Ghost man. <laughs> ghost lead. You remember the guy? Yeah. Peter, when I came to your workshop last week, mm-hmm. I'm having an outfit made by Peter, which I'm going to wear for some big event coming up. Yeah. I was, I think I've, I had a newfound respect okay. for the person, Peter, because people on the socials can be very cruel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're a soft spoken guy, they make so many assumptions because you dress well. And, you know, any person who dresses well... What assumptions do they make, though? The first assumption they're going to make is that Peter is gay because he dresses well. We've never seen him with a woman. Um, He's soft-spoken. And people will assume, because a lot of people believe that the gay community always has money. And when they see a person like you with money, the assumption already in their heads goes towards that. I don't care about that. We can talk about that if you want or not. But for me, I had a newfound respect for you when I came to the workshop. And mm. this guy has created a machine of a fashion house. Have you been to his workshop before? No, no, no. Hey, no, man. he's yet to come because we, we actually, is, I, yeah, I, I, we I actually spoke remember. about it. Yeah, yeah, we spoke about it. Yeah. It is a beehive. <laughs> There's just everybody is busy on a Everyone sewing machine. Busy. Somebody's cutting yeah. stuff. There's measuring somebody. And yeah, dude, how long did it take you to get to this point? How long did it take me? You know, um, 
you know, like I was saying, my growth is not something that happened overnight. So mm. usually when people come to my DMs, they're like, oh, I want to be like you. I'm just like, oh, okay, no, yeah, it's, it's okay. No, you're ready though. <laughs> Are you ready? You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's not, it's not something that happened overnight. It's been gradual and it's something that's, that it's taken so much dedication, so much, you know, time and all. Um, my brand actually started, you know, like it blew up during COVID. There's a lot of people mm, that, yeah, yeah, there's, there's yeah. A, you know, there's a lot of brands that were a lot and that's were formed during COVID. So my, lot. so my brand also before COVID, I was doing something, you know, just on the low. But during COVID is when I decided to just like you know commercialize and just like you know start. When I started, I was you know I was alone. Then Are I, you alone? Uh, right now, no, 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 no. Are you so, alone? So I started when I was uh, when I was when I started. I was alone, mm-hmm. and then. Um, I noticed that, you know, it became too serious. Mm-hmm. I engaged someone to, you know, assist me and help me. And we started working together. It's, it still became too big mm. such that it, we couldn't handle because, you know, everything just was happening so fast. Wow. And I just started, you know, I decided to just like start grooming people. I started, you know, employing people and grooming them one by one. Mm. And right now, I am sitting at 16 people that I'm employing, wow. that I've employed. 16 families that 16, you take care of. Right? Yeah, I'm taking <laughs> care of 16 families. And some, and, and some of those, um, some of them are old enough to be my... Mm. I saw the older people. Yeah, yeah. And, and they've got children that are actually older than me. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And some of them, but are these pretty, people, some of them are taking their, some, some of them are taking their, you know, kids to school. But these so people still have a respect for you as a boss yeah, in this company. Yeah, but boss gonna finish a boss now. I like how we agreed to meet at ten, and this guy will keep postponing. Let's meet at thirteen, <laughs> and then we finally meet that day from his offices at fifteen hours. I'm like, so this is the time you report for work, and he says, as the boss. But I was impressed. Still, you get there at fifteen. Yeah, everybody's doing their work diligently. Yeah. Everybody's at their desk yeah. or their sewing machine doing yeah. their thing. I'm like, wow. Yeah, that's what happens at House of PML. I've, you know, I've, th- I've built that environment for people to just, like, it's a safe place for people to just like come. Yeah. And it, we, we, we were more like a family. That's, that's, this, mm. is why, this is why you see um, I can be out, but you, you won't find any of my clients complaining, say, oh, I, I booked an outfit with Peter and it wasn't delivered because we're a family. I can still communicate to anyone to, to and also what i've done also i know sometimes people would say it's not a good thing to have family and bring them close mm. but what i would say about my young ones is my young ones are like me mm. and they're different from any, any other family because there's a lot of people that complain said oh family but that's a point and whatever but my young ones are also fighters like me so what i've done also is i've employed my young ones Nice. Yeah, so my young ones also they know. And also when it's time to work, it's time to work. They know I'm not the Peter at home. I'm mm. the Peter at work. So I have the other the other store that's arcades, uh, arcades shopping mall. It's 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 run by my young brother. And also uh the PML uh store in Olympia is run by my young sister. So when I'm not around at least you know family is there to take care of everyone. So you said um you you sort of formally decided to get into this mm-hmm. during covid right yeah yeah that was a pandemic yes but we've got another pandemic though mm-hmm. let's go Ish. how's 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 are, are you are you in any way affected Ep- epidemic. Zesco? i am uh, an epidemic. drastically <laughs> drastically i just took this habit of correcting people's english eh? <laughs> pandemic <laughs> epidemic i don't know whatever oh, let's go i'll explain mm. later yeah you yeah, were saying i am actually i am you know every day you have to, you know, even when you don't have, you, even even when you don't have sales, you always have to know you have to keep money for a, a genset. So mm. it's really, really affected me. I, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm thinking of going into the solar route, but then the expense also it's. Uh, no, I'll, I'll come and store that for you. Talk. After. You will. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. That, oh, yeah. by the way, that switches new business. Oh to, wow! Yeah, in addition yeah. to DJing at your wedding. At a good yeah, price, yeah. you know, of I, I course, reached, of course. I reached out to someone, and then they gave me like ridiculous amount. So I was like, No, I'll do yeah. a solid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't stress about it. Uh, so, so ap- ap- apart from this, do you do do because because you you're a content creator. Yes. You are a fashion designer, right? Yeah. So obviously, you also do get paid for for um, for, for for influencing, right? Mm-hmm. Would you accept an influencer gig from like a Louis V? 
a Louis V. Mm. Mm. You've got your own thing running, right? Yeah. But if a Gucci came through, would you accept? Of course. Why not? D- don't mean, you think that doesn't mean I'm gonna kill my brand? Wouldn't you? No. Mm. I wouldn't. Do you know there's a separation of work? I'll give you an example, right? Mm. Olympia, my 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 main office mm. is doing custom made clothes. Arcades is doing the clothes that I import from Turkey. Mm. So you see the difference. Mm-hmm. So the, the difference between the two is that the arcade store is for someone that wants something on the go. Because what used to happen is that would get clients that want say, oh, I want a suit. Because they know they want Peter, they, you know, they want to they wanna have a, uh, you know, they want something from us. Mm-hmm. You'd find people like, oh, I want a suit. When do you need it? I need it tomorrow. I'm, I've got a graduation. But we can't make that because we're fully booked. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I decided to come up with that store, the new store. And in that store, there's already made things. So mm. those things, some of them are PML made and some of them are coming from Turkey. Okay. Mm. For people that want things on the go. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I when I did when I when I opened the store, people were like, oh no, but then the other store is gonna die. But no, nothing has changed. Everything else is the same. If people call, if if people want to have custom made clothes, they come to Olympia at my main branch. If people want things on the go and we're not ready to make for them, they go to a kids and still pick something from them. Pick shoes, pick shirts, pick mm. whatever. Yeah. So if Louis V or Gucci came to me and said they wanted me to influence, I would still influence. I don't think PML would be killed by that Serious, because PML, huh? yeah, because PML, PML is a personality. I mean, we've mm. seen guys like, you know I mean? um, yeah, true. We've do, you seen, th- do you know what I mean? But you know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, no, I get you hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. I think it can work. It, 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 I don't it, know. It can still did, work. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when KB joined, what's the regular label again? Um. Nexus. Nexus. Mm-hmm. Didn't K Army die in a way? Yeah. Sort of. No, to some extent. Because, to some extent, because if, if a brand like Louis V comes and makes you brand ambassador, you're gonna focus on marketing them because you've got contractual obligations. You know what I mean? Yes, no, but yes. also but also but also look at the um, look at the difference between PML and Louis V. Global versus yes. mm. No, but you're trying to grow PML to be a global brand. We haven't yes. yet gotten there. So when we get there, maybe then I can decline. Okay. It would be wise to learn from them, yeah. Yeah. True. And besides, if the, 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 the discussion you and I had from your offices the other day, we were talking about how we, we go back to a conversation of mm. um, why you're not setting up offices in other towns in Zambia. Mm. I think you can learn from brands like the KFCs and McDonald's where you set up a system. Mm. When you've set up a system, yeah. it can run without you. Yeah. True. And you have already set up a system. Yes. How do you explain going to America for one year and that machine is still running. Mm. You've set up a system. Yes. People know that when a client walks in, we have to talk to them this way. Yes. We have to treat them this way. Yes. We have to measure this way because that's what Peter taught us. Yes. So why can't you replicate that and make another system like that on the copper belt, Ndola or Kitwe? Okay, no, you know what? what I I'll think say, you should, bro. No, I will. You know, with time, I think. You can go there once in two weeks. Yeah. Show your face. Actually, let people there know that you're going there because yeah. your brand is big. People yeah. want to see you. Let them know that you're going there and you have like a small showcase or something. I don't know, a little... No, with time. I'll measure you myself kind yes. of thing. yeah. No, yeah. with time. Yeah, with time. Anything is possible. True that. Yeah. Are these specs for real? Yes, they are. What, what can't you see? Um, Evo? Uh, <laughs> yes, I can't see Evo. <laughs> I don't see... I don't see... You can't Evo. see <laughs> I don't see bad comments. <laughs> That's a good one. I just see positivity. <laughs> what did you say? You can't see oh, no, yes. <laughs> Speaking of bad comments, do you actually read your comments? I do sometimes. I think it's good to read sometimes. People say don't read them, but I think it's good to read sometimes. So you just know what at which direction you're moving at, which wavelength you're moving. So you see, oh, this is what people don't like. This is what people are talking about and whatever. You, you know what's crazy about that? Though? Mm-hmm. You have a hundred comments of the people praising you. Negative. Yeah. The one negative comment will affect you, bro. Yeah. That's why a lot of people don't. And you actually feel like changing a lot about yourself because of that one. Because comment. of yeah. that one comment. I know, like even on the podcast when we started, people would talk about... And I was learning this thing. Because remember when, when we started this, actually main majors in, the, in, in our audience today. Billy! This guy was actually there for episode two. Mm. Mm. Episode two of That's That Podcast. Where are we today? Episode 139. 137 episodes ago, this guy was there and he came to the table. I didn't know who he was. He came. He sat... We had like a small audience, going, an unplanned audience. Episode mm. two was uh, Tivo, Shkapo, Tivo and, and TK. Uh, TK. Yeah. And we sat at Mozambique. Mm. We set up a little thing. There was 
It actually rained heavy that day. Mm. He was there with his mom and his sister. I didn't know who he was then. And we record that episode and we put it up. Eish, there was a lot of... Backlash. No. A lot of positive comments. Oh, okay. But then in the comments, somebody said, you are shouting. You are, and this guy gave me like a list of things <laughs> that I was doing wrong and that affected this me the whole week. Who is that guy? You know what you feel like? Just, let me just cancel this all together. You know? <laughs> Maybe I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Why are we so drawn? We're, like as humans, we're just so drawn to negativity. Eh? Yeah. It's crazy. Like I almost stopped this podcast at episode two. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. <laughs> so do you, know you know, for me, the th- you know, the thing is for me, I don't dwell on negativity. I don't, that's good. Yeah, I don't dwell on that because that stuff doesn't feed me. So when I see certain comments about me and whatever, I just carry on because I know my truth. Mm. I know mm. what I sta- you know, I know what I st- what I stand by. Yeah. You know, I know how I run my things, how I do things, so I don't need to explain. Cuz you know, you'd find that actually the people that people that that would be commenting those things. Mm. It's probably someone in a thatched house, yeah, with a smart that's so phone, true. You know what I that's mean? That's so true. Comment in your comment. Someone that didn't show you when you when you look, you you don't give, don't give them time. You know. The another thing was, you know, the other time when I was here, people were like, "Oh, why does he speak like that? How do I change how I speak?" You can't. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't change your vocal cords. You can't I change can't, who you are. You know what mm. I mean? Like, and, and 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 you know, I'm even happy that I'm talking about this now because I feel like probably those are this is on another topic because that's what, actually that's what trended. So that's how he speaks. That's how he sounds. Oh yeah, oh, for yes. Real. yes, yes, yeah, for yes. Yes, yes. The latest episode was about the voice. And, yeah. then, and then they were asking, but was he on auto tune? Whatever, whatever. I'm like, <laughs> maybe voice Chip the on that shit. Maybe voice the answer at topic or something. Yes, still in puberty, bro. Maybe I'm still younger. Pre puberty. <laughs> 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 but like you know it's just certain things that you can't just speak on and th- things certain things that um you just have to move on so certain times when i see certain things i don't i don't have time for that for me i've learned over the years and that's i think elson is also learning that now just to ignore certain comments you'd actually see elson's mood just get destroyed yeah. for real eh? completely yeah one negative comment but Elson, is be- very, but Elson is very negative, so he shouldn't even... Yo, Elson! He is very negative. No, Elson, I think... Well, dude, listen. And he's admitted this on the podcast, mm-hmm. and I'm happy that he has, so I'm not talking behind his back or anything. And mm. I'm just telling you as it is. Mm-hmm. One negative comment would destroy Elson's day. But he's fine talking rubbish about someone? He can um, give the medicine, but not take his own medicine. Um, oh, okay. I'm going you know to I mean? I'm give it to him one day. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, one day is coming. <laughs> I, th- I think Elson suffers from... A very rough childhood, <laughs> not financially, <laughs> not financially, and by that I mean you know you know those people that were bullied, yeah. like bullied growing up, yeah. And and now and, and mic, now huh? they're and now they're in a position, mm-hmm. and 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 the platform to platform actually, to actually be, like get back be. at these people. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever receive what, what bad comments? I do. Say, uh, About what? Misery loves, uh, misery loves company. Yeah. 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 yeah so you know. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I'm asking um, him if he's if, if ever received bad comments. Like, I in, have in your comment section. Yeah, Number I have. Bad. Um, so I'll give an example. Standing mm-hmm. Music Festival, I get on stage, I kill it. Everyone is reposting my videos, mm-hmm. and 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 just one guy on Twitter was like, ah. No matter in the DJ, first things first, touch it on it. Can you shout for it if you're black? <laughs> <laughs> then it was like, I also, and then remember, so at the Stan Big Music Festival, right? You are only given it, my sets were segmented mm-hmm. and I wanted to play everything because I was doing my debut there, right? Mm-hmm. So I was not playing the entire song in full. Oh. And you know the thing about Zambians? Mm-hmm. They want that. When you play a song like Enko, but if I put that, I came, my soul, I conquered. If you oh. don't reach that, if you don't reach that, <laughs> every step that I take, you yeah. want to think that yes. I think yes. I'm so nice. Yes, but so, you know, so if you play you a know song for, you know, the only time I got upset on social media mm-hmm. was when um I got my when I got my car, the mm-hmm. Hilux, the Hilux, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, the 2023, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when I got my Hilux, <laughs> and um, 
the first day of me posting that, the first day was that, oh, congratulations, congratulations. Then two days later, the topic changed. They were like, people couldn't believe, because that thing was training for like a week. Mm. Yeah. Two days later, people were like, mm, people are not being truthful. Tell Alashta, Hilux. You know what I mean? And people started posting to my sewing machines. What was I saw? Sometimes I'm mean, bro. You guys saw that. <laughs> people started posting sewing machines. I had a sewing machine as well. I want to buy Hilux. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then, four, you know, four days later, four yeah. days later, in, during the, some, the same week, four days later, I flew to Deben for the Deben July. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So whilst there, I was there with Natasha and Mercy. Yeah. And I took a picture with Somizi. Yes. Oh, you don't. Yes. No, you... I took a picture with Somizi. I was literally being a fa- I'm a fan. This guy, yeah. he doesn't like peace. Not at all. He wants at problems all. always. At all. <laughs> problems always. At everything. All. Yeah. Everything was like, everything was like oh. blowing up in one week. I was like, ah. yeah. But I, so I took a picture with, I saw Somizi. We were in the same marquee. And then I took a picture with him and I posted it. Yo, this whole story shifted. Yeah. It was like, oh, now we know who bought the highlights. It makes uh. sense. <laughs> yeah, we now know. Like, are you guys serious? I don't even know who this human being is. <laughs> I know him from <laughs> social media, just like any of you guys. And I was just being a fan because oh, of Oh, you played yourself. Yeah, no, you played, did yeah, play yourself. I, yeah. I did play myself. You played yourself. Both with black on me. Yeah, so you know, and also what so that 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 one actually that one actually got me upset. It really, really got me upset. Such that I, I, I I've never commented. I had to comment. I wrote something on my Facebook. After writing, I was like, did I really, really have to write this? No. I took it down, but it went. And that's the thing. That's, 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 that's the problem. And that's the thing you that should went. have. Yeah, yeah, no, the thing is, that's the thing that went. Like, Wait, what, like, what, what did you write crazy. on the post? No, I was, like, literally, I was so upset because that's, that's the stuff that someone really, like, a, a blogger got it and said, oh, um, we know where the highlights came from. Peter, whatever, meet up with some easy... Uh, 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 Yo. Disgusting stuff. So I was like, this... I mean, I have parents. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I have a mother, I have a father. Mm. And my parents are also on social media, you know what I mean? They see those things. You know what I mean? They mm. see whatever comments that people talk about me. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I, might, sometimes I don't even get upset. But you find my, like, my parents are parents. They might be, they might be thinking he's probably not happy about this. Mm, so mm. when I see people posting about <clears throat> whatever they post about, all those things is useless stuff. It's not true. And I don't mind that. But that's some easy thing. People convinced themselves and they went with it. And that's what blew up. I was in Durban. I'm just receiving phone calls. This, 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 this. Mm. I'm like, this is fucked up. Mm. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, sorry. I, I, think, I think the other, the other mistake <laughs> you made was to people. respond. You shouldn't have responded. Yeah, I shouldn't have responded. I remember the, the, the other time I trended for, I think, you know the trending span in Zambia is like three days? Yeah. Mm. Bro, that thing went on for like a week. <laughs> because... I spoke my truth about a lot of um, entertainers, musicians in Zambia, mm, right? Mm. And I said something about Chile One. I was just speaking my truth, bro. What, what was the truth, bro? People came at me, bro. Yo. What was the truth, bro? What was my truth? Mm. Uh, I, I, I'm not trying to trend. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to trend. <laughs> no, but you have to know how to take it. You know, because also for me, I understand that all this comes to the territory. Like the moment you expose your life in the limelight, like... Mm-hmm. Like we have, it comes with so much criticism. So most of the times when I see all this criticism and whatever, whatever, I just look at it as like, oh, it's growth. If you can't handle it's, the heat, then yeah, it's part of the kitchen. Yeah, yeah it's that's growth. What, that's, that's, that's what Bobby told me as yeah. well. If you can't handle the heat, it's then like, the bro, if you're, if, you're not, if, you're, if you're not, if you can't handle this, then you're not ready for yeah, growth. Yeah, you're not ready for mm-hmm. that. So it's, it's part of growth and it just keeps you going. Yeah. It's so, wild. It's wild. It's crazy. Because, 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 <clears throat> Because I remember waking up at 2 every day bro, just mm. to check the negative comment. What are people saying about me? <laughs> bro, like they insulted my parents. They went for my... Bro, the, the good part I, I is though... Mm. Things, the good part is though, for me, I don't overexpose my life. Okay. I'll post about my work and my life. Mm. My pictures, it ends there. It ends there, yeah. I don't post my parents. I don't post my siblings. Rarely, I've posted maybe once, twice... But people don't know so much about my personal mm. life because mm. I'm not really out there and I'm not trying to be. It's, it's, it's crazy for you guys because that's why I can't even post the girl I'm dating if I'm dating. 
You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because I believe what people don't know can destroy. Yeah. You Peter, know? will you ever get married? Yes, of course. I will. What sort of a woman would convince Peter to settle down? One who loves um, the lifestyle. Not really like in a bad way, but mm. like one who understands what I do mm, and mm, the business mm. that I'm in, mm. you know, and just one who understands me as a person. Mm. And yeah, so one who's just ready to just like be a hard worker because, you know, people don't know how much work I put in. I'm a really, really hard worker. Mm. I mean, the time, you remember when, I, I was, when you came to my office, I told you the reason why I came to work at 15 is because I left my office at zero two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that was justified. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. So actually from here, I'm going to work. Okay, okay so yeah. with, evening. with, with yeah, that evening. said, do, yeah. do, do, do you think you're at a point in life where you, you are settled financially? Yes. Okay. Then I think it's safe to say you can now get married. But is that the only reason why we would get married? In most cases, you have to be very stable, bro. Yeah, you need to take care of somebody's yeah, daughter, true. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So. Also, you have to be mentally ready. Mentally ready yeah. as well. But then again, yeah. when you're thinking of getting married when you're financially stable, how do you know that the person you're settling down with now is not just after your money? Uh, Fila Monica, well. Fila, Fila Ilanga. Mm. Fila Ilanga. Mm. Okay. Fila Ilanga. So when the time is right, I definitely will. But I don't want to rush. And what, what, what would she look like? She would look like Valerie. <laughs> yeah, she would. Yeah, I see your type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see my type, right? Yeah, she's yeah. my type too. I'm sorry. Okay, now I have oh, to see wow. <laughs> Yeah, because, bro. Your friend's wife, which is my type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't wanna Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on up. laughs> no, nah, she's she's clean. She's a body. She's, Dude, wait, wait, she's smart. Where can I, where can I see Valerie? From? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. Where can I see Valerie from? from Instagram. Instagram. On your account. On our account. What, what's who's she? What's she? Valerie. What? Just Valerie. Mwewa. Valerie Moyo. Yeah. Sweet child. <laughs> <laughs> He's well informed. Oh, 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 oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's my friend. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, are you comfortable with this? With what? This friendship. Mm. That's no, her? No, no, I'm, I'm that's not. Her? Yeah, that's her. Ah, she's clean. No, I see what you mean. She yeah. is. She's Branch yeah. and his ex-girlfriend. Did we have to go Did there? you have to bring him here? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> see, I expose it. I have my problems. Yeah. Exposing your life on social media. That's what you get. <laughs> it's public knowledge, bro. No, we understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And she posts, I see why you guys get along. She posts how you post. Yeah. Very well thought of, very clean, very, yeah. she's, and, and the food as well. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Some, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I was saying. Someone who they complement each you know, other. Someone yeah. who understands my lifestyle. Yeah. But what are your thoughts on, okay, at least you, you've said, because there are others who argue that when you've got too much in common with someone, mm -hmm you might end up with nothing to talk about because you agree on everything or the relationship might end up being boring because you're the same person. You know what I mean? No, I don't think so. I don't think, you don't so, think so too. No. I don't think You'd so. rather have somebody that you have something in common yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you compliment each other like no, that. No, I've just, I've met people who feel like I want to hear something else in my home, a different perspective, mm. uh, something different from what I do. You know what I mean? There's people like that. That's my point. So at least you two agree that you'd rather have somebody. So you you would rather settle down with a female DJ. Not not a female DJ, but why not? Well, 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 I can. Mm -hmm. DJ Rice, Reese, what's the name? At Dark Sparkles. <laughs> DJ Dark Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why aren't you guys mentioning Nairobi or something? <laughs> what's what's the name? DJ Rice, Reese, Rice, Reese, Reese. Okay. Okay, that's that's my spec ish, but. And, 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 and I know it could work, mm. but remember, people sometimes are not what you think they are. Okay. So she can be a DJ, she can be fun, but can we have other conversations? Yeah, other than... Okay. Other yeah, than yeah. just vibes. Yeah. yeah. Because you need that. Yeah. We can't yeah. always be talking about, oh, let's go to the cup and fill it up. Yeah. It's different. And then guys like you end up with a girl who will like you, but then she'll be like, mm, that's DJing thing, maybe it's a little too much. Mm. That's why it's, 
that that because that, of the attention that maybe club DJs get from girls in the club. That's 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 why it's so hard for me to date. Because you need somebody who understands that you're gonna have female attention. Yeah, yeah. You know that's part of the reason why I quit DJing, eh? For real. Yeah, says, uh, when I, the, year, the the month that I quit DJing in, I started remembering what my mom was talking about. Like, DJ's dying from AIDS and whatever. I started seeing these things. Like when I started, of course, when you start, you're not that popular yet, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then you start getting more and more popular in the industry, in the game, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. One night I'm DJing, bro. You know the club in Kitui, mm. upstairs somewhere in town center. Yes, yes. I'm DJing there. And this girl comes to the booth. And the song that was hot then was uh, Sweetest Girl, Wycliffe Jean. <laughs> <laughs> so, get him more on kids. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand eight. This girl comes in the booth, nice pink dress. I think it was like her birthday or something. So she makes a request for that song. It's like around twenty two. Now as a DJ, you time for Anna, hey mama, uh-huh, that kind of thing. Mm. Now as a DJ, you time the hit songs for later on. Like mm. Mm, you can't, you can't release this one just yeah. yet. The club is not yet lit. People are just coming in at twenty two. It's a nightclub. They're leaving the chill spots like cozy jaws and whatever. That's when they're coming mm. in. So I was like, I can't play this song. And that's my mind. I can't play the song just yet. So she comes around twenty two. 22, 30, dude, it's my birthday. Please play me this song. 23, I'm like, okay, the club is getting a little late. So 23, 30, she comes and just as coming into the booth, mm. I play the song. Mm. Ish. Girl runs back to the dance floor, jives, dances with the sisters or whatever. And at this point, they're also like lit, drunk. You know what I mean? So I play the song and I made sure I play the song in, in its entirety. The song mm. finishes. About a minute or two later, she comes back. And you know how DJ's boots in, back in the day were like tinted? Yeah, covered. People yeah, in the club yeah. can't see <laughs> yeah, what's happening yeah, yeah, in the DJ's boots. They know there's a figure. And it's on top. So it's on they top. Are, they're exactly. at the bottom so they can't see. Tell me why this girl comes back in the DJ's booth. And she says, I'm just so happy about you. And she came back with a six pack. Because I think she saw like I was drinking one of these brown bottles back then when I used mm. to drink heavily. So she comes back in the DJ's booth like a six pack. That's for you. Thank you so much for playing my song. You've made my day. I'm so mind blown. Like I'm, I don't know, bro. I just, and she puts her hand back like that, pulls the zipper down, and the whole dress just falls off her. You don't say. I do say. I'm like, yo. This is what, oh, mama, this is what mama spoke about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So just that one moment, and you decided to. Yeah, I got scared. Wow, bro. boss. Well, you know, okay. Yeah. I, 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 wow, stopped, boss. I said I'll be doing bookings from now on. And that's how it became. Remember, Kito, I became famous for being a wedding DJ. Wedding DJ, I yeah. In clubs. Mm-mm. Might cut your life short. I dressed her up, and I told her, nah, it's oh, not wow. happening. It's called oh, discipline, wow. bro. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's, 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 there's actually a lot. Bro. Now, I know people who start thinking of DJing because of what I just shared. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's well, crazy, like, bro. You know, I wanted to just ask on this, like, well, like that aside, the DJ thing aside, I wanted to ask on the industry itself. I know maybe that sh- that should have been you asking me, mm. but I, f- I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to ask you guys. Do mm. you, do you th- like, where do you think we lack, or where do you think we get it wrong in the entertainment industry in Zambia? In what aspect? Mm. In the sense of just like us being known globally, and, yes, and um, being out there because there's a lot of talent that's you know that's within, but then people don't know us. People don't know us, and are we ever gonna get known? Okay, so what I've what I've noticed about I talk about music because I'm a DJ, right? Yes. So what I've noticed about Zambians, South Africans, Nigerians. Mm-hmm. So South Africans love their thing. Okay. They love their music. Mm-hmm. They embrace it. Yes. And also in SA, I think the, the the government actually there's actually a law that says you play is it eighty or ninety percent of local music. Okay. It's different from Zambia though, because okay. we we rarely create from scratch. Yes. So if if a sound from Nigeria is cool at the moment, yes. that's what the Zambian would tap into. Yes. They'll sound they'll including the dance. Including the dance. I'm a piano, it's yes. You know, all the damn yes. time. Yes. We, it's 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 like we just can't create something of our own from scratch. And you know, speaking and, and mm-hmm. I'm not cutting you short, but speaking mm-hmm. of the same also, um <laughs> I don't know if I should talk about this, but like please, please, please do you know like speak about it, bro. 
uh, you, 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 are, you, are in, you are in the wedding group, right? Yes. The upcoming wedding. <laughs> yeah, 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 I am. I am. <laughs> yes. So I, I don't like the aspect of us. Uh, Wait, you know, I spoke, to, I spoke to a friend. No, I, we're not going to mention names, but you right. see where, where, mm. where I'm All right. going. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, uh-huh. okay, okay, okay. I spoke to a friend, mm. but I don't, like, I don't like the aspect of us wearing Nigerian outfits. Okay. Why are we going to wear Nigerian outfits when we can, we, can, oh, we, can, we can wear the Zambian? What is the Zambian outfit? outfit? We have the Chitenges and whatever, so we can always design uh, which, with Chitenges. Which did not originate from Zambia. No, but like... That's part of our identity. You know what we, I mean? Do you know what uh-huh, people think is in Zimbabwe? Let's, let's, Ma- Mazambia. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's actually think, talk about, yeah, let's, let's talk Mazambia. about identity. Mm. That's, that's the biggest thing that we kind of lack as Zambians. Mm-hmm. From, from the music itself, mm-hmm. we don't have our, our, our very own indigenous sound that we can export. Mm-hmm. It's almost uncool for you to listen to Zambian music, which I find very annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I, I've, I've actually met people that walk up to me and they're like, why are you playing Zambian music? Ah, are you not Zambian? Mm. You, you don't even have a passport, bro. Yeah. Why can't you, ah, <laughs> why, why can't you support your own? So what you're saying is that we, we, we're just going to be on that level. We, because as long as we don't... As long as we don't embrace our own. Our own, yeah. we can't. Because what are we going to ex- ex- export? Yeah. It's like, I, I keep telling DJs like, okay, you are a piano DJ in Zambia. Mm-hmm. Do you honestly expect a booking to come from SA? The same SA that birthed Amapiano, piano, yeah, the originators of yeah, the sound. Yeah. But you are no. playing house and you get booked in SA. And in the UK. And no, in Australia. And in Bali. It's, it's different. Mm. House is a global sound. Mm-hmm. But my piano is now a global sound as well. When I say it's a global sound, sound I mean Drake hasn't jumped on Amapiano piano yet. But he's jumped on house. Okay. That's what I mean by global. Mm. House is actually bigger than I'm a piano. I'm a piano is only trending. Mm. That's the difference. Ha- house house ha- is rooted. It's got a very strong foundation. It's been there. 20 it's years been there. 30 years. Exactly. Actually. actually, even I'm a piano is like, they got certain elements. They just from, slow down house music. That's right? it. That's it. From 125 to 116. So BPM. we can't change that. In Zambia right now. Mm. There's a mic. Mm-hmm. Major. Away from uh, the talent aspect of stuff, uh, just to answer and add on to uh, why you, why I, I personally believe a lot of artists, there's great talent, but why people won't go far is also a lot of people don't understand the business. Yes. Before it's actually a talent or whatever it is, you have to understand that it's a business. So now if you look at uh, your... Nigerians or your burner boys or whatever it is, they've got a team and PR is very important. Yeah, PR true. is not just posting pictures on Instagram. Mm. It's actually understanding and getting somebody who's maybe going who's in the UK, for example. You want to branch out to the UK. You have to be with somebody in the ground in the UK who understands how those that's, that market Setting is moving. Work, yeah. A manager here in Zambia won't understand how the UK works. It's the same way... Um, Managers from the U.S. have people in Africa that are pushing and whatever is um, happening here on the ground. Mm. So it's really building and understanding that this is a business. And if you want to go outside of the country, you have to literally identify the best teams Mm. that are in whatever market you're trying to uh, get into into, and tap into. Mm. So it's not just going to happen by posting pictures on Instagram. Mm. That's so true. There's a lot of people that are worldwide doing the same thing that you're doing, but how do you stand out? Yeah. yeah. Is understanding the business. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's that's well, so when true. When you say understanding that's the business, true. how then do I stand out if I am a Zambian rapper? I'm popping in Zambia. You know what I mean? Okay. How do I stand out on the African market? How do I stand out on the global market? Oh, by the way, the voice you're hearing in the background is... Um, main major. Main major. And this man has worked with names like Davido from Zambia. Oh, wow. Davido, Wizkid, um, Shekinah, uh, Shekinah, Rouge, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. This guy has oh, marketed wow. yeah, 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 bro. This guy has marketed the music. Yeah. And no jokes. He's, he's actually worked with these people to yeah. market the music. Okay. Like Davido gets paid from his music because of this guy seated oh, with wow. us in the studio. We, right sh- now. we should actually wow. have him on the podcast. No, we should actually. Mm. But, dude, how do I stand out if I. 
I'm a, let's say, Jcash. I'm big in Zambia, but that's all I'm big in. How do I stand Okay, out? for me, uh, I'll speak on your maps. Speak on your maps? Yeah, I'll speak Who on your maps right because now literally well. his career, like from the music side, I've, I've watched a couple of episodes here and people always wonder like, oh, does he make money and all that stuff? He makes a lot of money. He probably makes way more money from his royalties than bookings it'll take him a long time to make the type of money that he makes from royalties mm. so you see it's just understanding when i think when i met him four years ago that was 2020 he didn't understand exactly how royalties work because he was just like ah it's whatever it's whatever and true he started seeing the money and understanding that there's a lot of moving parts so now to answer your question how do i stand out is fine non- you see identifying who are your um i mean nothing is rocket science to be quite honest we all get inspired by people. So I would do research and the, literally all the information, and I'll just add on to what you're saying. Instead of worrying about whether Music Anji has sneezed or not, you can actually <laughs> just do proper research on the internet and find out. Literally all these people are there. So you want to find out how am I going to do this? Research. Follow people. You can mirror somebody and be like, yeah. okay, how did this person do this? Yeah. Who did this person get? Uh, to do this and just from there is how you actually build watch a, a lot of podcasts man yeah exactly yeah. just watching podcasts you get a lot of information oh we did so that. Uh, already yeah. you understand like how distribution would work is by watching this information is all there is free it's on the internet I so remember I, yeah I'm happy we have this conversation in public now because I remember when I, I spoke about episode 2 earlier on and how we met that day you explained to me what you do and you actually contributed on episode 2 and we're talking about how the Zambian sound could get out there and he mm. brought in some very valid points. What, what is the Zambian sound? What is the Zambian sound? Also, <laughs> I wanted to ask that. that, that we spoke about Kalindula. It's not even no. ours, bro. Yeah, but that's we, we've picked that up and, and sort of owned it. You know what I mean? Also, uh, you as a DJ, I wanted to ask you, why don't um, hip-hop artists get their, their shine. recognition and their shine in Zambia? In Zambia... I, I I think it 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 comes down to, you know you know hip hop is very complicated, bro, mm-hmm. and hip hop evolve, so maybe part of the reason why some rappers are not really growing mm-hmm. is because of one their style, they still wanna rap like, like 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 Biggie in nineteen ninety five. You want them to rap like Migos now? Because that's what's trending. Patata, 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 no, patata, 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 because that's yeah. Because that's what's trending. No, I feel Sad, like... sadly with music, bro. People don't even follow the lyrical content anymore. Mm. They just want vibes. The yes. flow. The, the, yeah, vibe, the flow. Yeah. 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 If you mean na, 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 yeah. that. Mm. that. But you're talking about, no, there's hunger in Kawama, <laughs> in Kanyama. We've heard that shit before, bro. Mm, mm, Evolve. Mm. Move with the trends. Mm. You can't be talking about uh, what <laughs> Tupac was talking about in 1995. <laughs> That's why a lot of rappers are not blowing up, to be honest. Yeah. And also, just to add on that, um, in Zambia, right, it's, 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 it's kind of crazy because I, f- I feel like talent should be, should remain talent. And brand managers should remain brand managers as well, mm. right? Mm. There's two cases. There are certain brand managers that also want to be famous. Oh, okay. Yeah, almost competing with their with artists, artists, right? Secondly, it's mm. crazy for a young Zambian guy who's trying to make it out there because, one, you've got a family to feed, a lot of mouths to feed. As long as you finish, you finish your grade 12, Sadly, for most parents, most of us grew up with a situation where the moment you finish your grade 12, you, you, you are thrown in the streets to, to, to kind of fend for yourself, right? So here's a guy who's very talented, but he needs to eat because also being in the industry, you need to dress well. Mm. So you need, branding is not cheap, yeah, boss. It's not. It's not. It's, not. it's costly, yeah. right? So the same guy who's supposed to spend... I'll give an example of myself. The only thing I must be doing is wake up in the morning, go to the gym, eat cornflakes, go in the studio. I'm surprised this guy here knows, knows what a gym is. Shut up. <laughs> 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 you get me, right? But, yeah. but you, you discover that 
a person who's supposed to be talent is their own content creator, they are yeah, their own junior, manager, they are their own booking agent. Like you do everything and yeah. then because there's no money. Because there's no money. Yes. Exactly. So you yeah. need a nine to five. You need a nine sure to five. Yeah. Sure sure sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> still running, still running. It's sure like that. Exactly. You get me? So yeah. you need especially when you are on the come up. You need a very stable stable source of income for you to finance your dream. Yes. For you to finance your brand as well. Yes. But it also takes away from the talent. Because what I'm supposed to be practicing, mm, rent. Ah, my mommy, but if I shan, but if I shan. So you'd be forced to go and work for Trade Kings, uh, marketing brothers, than being in the studio. <laughs> yeah, bro, this this is this is real. Yeah. That, than yeah, being we, in we the meet studio them in to actually. All the time, yeah. Huh? I'm saying I oh, I do meet a lot of guys in industry here talking about you know dude, dude I need to come on the podcast I'm trying to market my song meantime is loading potatoes like yes yeah dude hey, sh- I, I need the buck bro. yes I need to pay for studio time I need to eat my exactly to school it's crazy but you can see the hunger in this guy yes and it's a rare artist who's lucky enough to have they get into the industry and they have a hit song and they start making it from there it's yes rare. Mm. yes it's so a lucky I'll, few I'll, who I'll, come I'll, in with a hit song and they stay. Speak- okay. the 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 speaking of structure right it's crazy how record labels in zambia will be formed and then they want to sign 68 artists at the same time and then only treat you are only you you are only you are only studying out now right mm-hmm. i'll give an example of karandanya and nexus yeah when that whole thing i don't know if it was like a business scheme that i can't really point out or put out to the public but I, but, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you can't open a record label today and sign 68 artists at the same time because you only focus about two only mm. so which also brings me to the the, the 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 David Kazadi scenario he's got a record label right when he was starting out to sign one artist Mordecai and I'm sure the goal for each and every artist is to blow up internationally, right? Mm-hmm. So Mordecai comes on, on, on to the, the scene. David Kazadi jumps on. Mordecai is, drops a hit single. The kid is trending, mm. right? Then, ah, one year, six months later, he decides to, to, to form a band. So you see what he's doing now. Mm. Mordecai shopped off. Mm? Yeah. Bro, if, if you're a record label, focus on one artist first. Make them blow up internationally. You know what I mean? Make them an export. In Zambia right now, we don't even have that one person that we can actually say, this is, this is our export. Like the way, the way your Maporisas and Cubs get uh, bookings left, right, and center in India. Or we don't have that one person. Right, so I feel like for a person like David, he should have focused more on growing the Mordecai brand mm-hmm. before a pape ene ato ninkwata abama guys by the four. I want to make what is it a band or something? What have you been by the four? Nibashan, by the third chan. I don't think I know them. A quartet, quartet or whatever. Right, he forms that before they blow up. But no, I'm looking for talent icon Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's doing, bro. <laughs> Focus anyway, on one. Anyway, Karandanya, uh, same thing. Nexa, same thing. That, Peter, yeah. Man, th- thanks, ah. Thank you for coming through. Before we digress and move from fashion to music completely, we actually and did. Person, you know, the person who was talking about you guys digress. We no, digress, but we raised very valid points. No, like also. So we digress and not. Yeah. No, you uh. and your partner. When you digress. Gesh will be there. I want to learn from Gesh. Gesh will be there talking about, oh, when I was a lawyer, this is a very, it's supposed to be an, an inspiring story, right? So I'm paying attention. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a lawyer and I'm also a DJ. So look, I want to learn from Gesh. Mm. Ah, then your partner will be like, eh, so did you wear a condom? The fuck, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, in, in Elson's defense. <laughs> That, that's digressing. That's, true. In, in, yeah. in Nelson's that's defense, digressing. Yeah. In Nelson's defense, like I said when we started the podcast, because it's a long format conversation kind of podcast. Sometimes 
you digress without even realizing you've done it. Mm. No, my guy, you can't be talking about soccer. You can soccer. digress without realizing. You they, cannot talk about soccer and talk about condoms at the yeah, same time. Yeah, that's they, what they are not related. So I did not digress. About it. Nah, bro. Did we do that here? Yeah, we just did. Oh, we just you did. You see what yeah, I mean? We, you're, we you're now on the seat where. Okay. When you're a critic, it's okay. easy to bring out these things okay. because you're watching. But when you're okay. doing, it's different. No, okay. Also, we di- we, we okay. digress. You know what I mean? We digress. Point of view. We digress from because fashion to music. Yeah. Yes, because yeah, I'm fashion. a DJ and yeah. he's a fashion designer. Yeah. He used to be a DJ, you're a podcaster now, yeah. among other things that you do. Yeah. So when we digress, we, we were talking about music. Yes. Whereas for your partner, what? This I think there's something some beef here. <laughs> it was going to be something else. Huh? I think it was some beef with us, and now I wish he was here as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my point yeah. is valid, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and th- of line. yes, that's, mm. and that's one thing that even people people complained about when I came here the first time. People were like, "These guys are not even giving people a chance to talk because they're talking about a lot of things." You'd ask me something, he would come up with something else, yeah. and you, then at the end of the day. People didn't get the whole idea of like why was Peter sitting there. You actually Peter, talk about your lives more about than about the person you've invited. Let, he, yes, uh, that's yes. what you guys do. Peter, oh, that's what they do. Peter, that's yeah, what they do. Yeah, they Peter, talking about, yeah. Peter uh, what didn't we talk about in the last episode? No, about now? The, the, no. The, let me tell you, the stuff that you guys didn't talk about that I wanted to talk about. What did we talk about that you want to talk about now? No. no. Enough, chance. enough chance. You did not give him enough chance to yes, actually express kept, himself. Yes. What? Okay, yes. I'm asking him yes. now. What did what did yes. you talk about at length that you want to no, talk I about? No, I think now? we've spoken about it today because ah, because okay, uh, yes, now. Yeah, yes, because yeah. I think we've we've talking about it today. But bef- but that time it was just a mess. Right? We were Livingston in the throes no. of yeah, enjoyment. Yeah. No, it was all over the place. Yeah, it was all over but, the place. But um, we had fun I wanna, either way. You know, I wanna come to I want I wanna come to the podcast and feel like I'm on Mac G. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on Mac G's podcast. Huh? You wanna have a drink? No, no. <laughs> I want, you know, I want, I want, I want people to know my story. You know what I mean? Thank I want you. People to know my story, like, oh, Thank how you. Did, you know, how did Peter come about? How did he Thank start? You. How did he get to this? How? Why are you talking about House of PML? What my, is House of PML? My mm. point exactly. Yes. So I don't. Let's talk about House of PML. <laughs> we talk about that now. We talk about and then now. the other guy we will start talking about <laughs> Mesmo. Well, he's not here, so you guys can talk about that. <sighs> But he, anyway, he has explained House of PML is like a brand ah, of... <laughs> yeah, That's why I said it. <laughs> 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 okay. Ah, <laughs> From my understanding, House of PML is to cater to that uh, the last minute shopper who you can't tailor for in a day, but no, can still you get don't even suits. know what House of PML is all Isn't about. Isn't it the one you said is that a case? That's House no, of PML. That's PML distinction. Oh, there's a difference. Yes. Explain. Look at you. Explain. Look at him. He's here. This is what this yeah, is what you are supposed to talk yes, about. Yes, I will be no, talking for two hours. Asking, explain <laughs> what House of PML is. <laughs> I'm just asking that guys. Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> What's House of PML, bro? So House of PML is a clothing brand mm-hmm. that I came like that. That's. Oh, you see, my land of thought is even gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, also, House of PML is a clothing brand that I established in 2019. Right. Yeah, it's basically, uh, it centers around, um, it caters for, you know, people that want outfits that are custom made. Mm-hmm. And PML, yeah, and the PML Distinction Store is the one we have at Arcades where we, it's uh, where we sell ready to wear items. Yeah. So, so the one the, I came to. So the one you came to is House of PML. That's that's where we do production, production of um, clothes. Clothes. And Peter, my yeah. life is the CEO of both. And Peter, my life is the CEO of both. So now you know something about him, right? Yeah. You know now. Look, what, what I, I think what I was mixing up was mm-hmm. just the name like that. Just but I know the arcades one is the last minute thingy. Yeah. Those are already made coming in from Turkey. Yeah. I know about that one. Yeah. And House of PML is what I came to. Yeah, that's, I that's, know that. So why are you confusing to. me now? No, you, you are confused now, you know, because I've explained. And this is what I wanted people to know. And this is what I wanted, to, you know, people, I wanted people to, you know, know me other than the stuff that they see on social media. Mm. You know, the things that they convince themselves about. Yeah. You know, because yeah. people convince themselves about a lot of things that don't even make sense. You know? Oh, this, that, this, that, that. So, when I come on the show, mm. I want people to know me for me. Thank to you. To know that I'm a business person, I'm an entrepreneur. And you can learn from me. And I'm taking care of 
16 families. Yep. 16 employees. Yes. Let, me 16 ask, families. Let, me, let me ask you this. And I think I've been asking our, a lot of our guests this question because mm-hmm. there's one way that social media sees you. There's another way that the community, that's not on social media, the community around you sees you. Mm-hmm. But when you look at Peter, my life, who do you see? I see... I see the guy from Luansha with a mm-hmm. dream okay. who moved to Lusaka with a dream, mm-hmm. living his dream. Wow. You see what I did there? Wow. That's wow. You are living in God's dream for you. Yes. Nice one. Yes. Nice one. Peter, thanks a lot for coming through, bro. That's and good. is there anything that you expected us to ask you in this episode that we haven't touched on today? Are you satisfied? Moving on from the last episode we had with you and this one, is there a huge difference? Did Are you, you happy? Did you ask anything else that you wanted to ask? Uh, did you want to touch on anything? No. No, I feel, you know, I feel, well, we shifted somewhere along mm. the line, but like, I think we're good. Well, so you're satisfied now? I'm satisfied. Okay, so can we go back to America, four cities and uh, how much I need to... <laughs> <laughs> And also, it's been a great episode. Eh? <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh, obviously, obviously, um, America. We did America. Mm-hmm. We're probably gonna do Europe now. How many countries? How many cities in Europe are you doing now? Paris, Oof. Italy, uh, Amsterdam. Are you carrying are you, gallery? Are, are you showcasing or are you just, just going for vibes? Bro. I'm just gonna live my best life, you know. Okay, life so with, is... with 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 your fashion brand and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Are you planning on making something that is going to be super distinctive that you can actually export or showcase out there? Yeah, definitely. There's something that actually there's there's a, there's a suit that I I just made last week that mm. blew up on the internet. Oh, the the one with the yeah with the leather, un- yeah, the cow skin. The, yes, yes. Yeah. That was something that like, we like I like I didn't plan on doing that. Mm. It was just something that came. In last minute, I was like, okay, you know what? This guy, um, he he's from he's from the US, and he wants an African feel, a Zambian mm, feel, mm. and it's just something that just like came to my mind. Say, so, you know what? Let's do something for him, and it ended up being something that people love, and I love the I love I actually love the response that I got from that. From as far as Europe as well. Yes. Um. Now we, you know, now we are cutting in dollars. <laughs> We have customers from everywhere, you know, with people calling us from, from, from South Africa, from Congo, from uh, Rwanda, you Whoa. know, from, from so many, uh, you know, from the UK. Yeah, I have, a, I have a lot of people. When you, you know, see this really guy yeah. buy yeah. another Hilux or a Lamborghini next, please don't get shocked. Please don't come from that poverty mindset where you think other people shouldn't be making it just because you're not making it. Yeah, and also... Let's I just move on. Let's grow. Exactly. And also just want, I also just want Zambians to just respect people's professions thank you yeah yeah i just feel yeah thank you bro let's all just respect each other's professions i think i think three about three four weeks about a month ago Mm. this guy works for zaf right so i i haven't really been consistent uh, because when i came to into lusaka um Mm. i came as a resident i I mean i I kept plus what year did you come in lusaka 2019 oh that's recent yeah just just recent man okay and then um during covid covid started a year after oh, well it, it, it got worse actually like lockdown lockdown yeah. started uh in 2020 mm. so um yeah I, I was a resident at granddaddy's td is but not just as active so i think i'd been away for like almost like this year i've done a lot of traveling so this one time i'm playing at granddaddy's like in such a long time right I'm playing and this guy just walks up to me, drunk as fuck. This is 21 hours. Mm. And I don't be, I actually don't believe it when they say, oh, I said this be- because I was drunk and what mm. was because, mm. yeah, because I believe a drunk mind speaks a sober heart, right? This guy walks up to me and he's like, he knows me. We know each other, but he is not my boy like that, but you know? Then he walks up to me and he's like, so you, you are just going to die a DJ just like this. When are you ever going to start building? And I'm like, <laughs> bro, 
I'm probably making more money yeah. than you right now. Bro, yeah. 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 I make a salary when I play for the Jamerson Connect. Yeah. Salary acquire two months. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> In one hour. In, In one, one hour, hour I pack my bags and I leave. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Let's so, not look down on people's not, careers. Yeah, let's not look down I'm probably oh. making more money than uh, than yeah. And you know why I got this? I got this when people people came up with a train Peter my jacket. That thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, that, he's laughing. That was hella oh funny though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me tell you. <laughs> No, I, I, know. It, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know you people so well. So that, yes, what do you mean I know? <laughs> I know. Let me tell you, people, people started that trend because it was it was a way of bringing me down. It was wow. like, oh, the town, yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? So, you know, and people, people, people got shot that I also, because I found it funny and I, I, I went with it. So it wasn't something I was like, oh, what, what? it was... Because you, like, what used to happen is that the moment someone says that, you find a lot of people are laughing. You know, <laughs> to you. Not knowing that the Peter jacket you're talking about. I, he was actually <laughs> selling your brand, if you ask exactly, me. Exactly, exactly. He did well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember th- there's a girl I was in primary school with, and we meet. I remember I mentioned I, was, I, I became like a wedding DJ on the copper board. Mm. Well, not copper board, all over Zambia would get bookings. Yeah. And I was making really good money from DJing. A lot. And I got the same sentiment from this girl in primary school together, and we meet by the post office, and she said, mm. Oh, I'm actually. Working on the fourth floor, I'm now the manager of this branch of uh, Zambia Postal Services. So what are you doing? I'm like, oh well, I, I DJ around weddings. And she says, so that's what you want to do with your life. <laughs> 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 I was very disappointed when I found out her salary was not even above ten pin, and Bro. I charged fifteen pin for a wedding at that Bro. time. Yeah, in 2017, mm, mm. and now in 2020. Four. Four and yeah, yeah, you know. Oh well, she's still with the postal services. Y- you <laughs> see, she'll probably be there. Two Gentlemen, issues. it's been great. Remember to click on the subscribe button and uh, <laughs> switch. It's been great having you on the podcast today. Thank you for having me, bro. Yeah, even though you've got a personal vendetta against us, and clearly, yeah. Uh, Peter, it's been great having you as well, man. Thanks for having me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, what's the YouTube channel me? again? It's Peter My Life. Peter My Life. So my YouTube channel consists of like the content I'm promoting on my YouTube channel is my work. Mm. my lifestyle and just me in general just you know just want people to get to know me great yeah so subscribe to my youtube channel and, 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 and call. why can i get clothes like these bro? hello hello <laughs> hello <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello, why can I get hello. Like do i have to travel to america as well hello talk no, you have to passport. talk to me to land. yes you have talk to talk to me. passport um, <laughs> 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 uh, well before we close before we close, just wanted, i just wanted to say uh Thanks for having me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome, bro. Anytime. I hope I sent a message across, and I just want to. I just want people to just to know me for me, and not yeah, you know believe the the stuff that they create mm-hmm. because all the stuff that people talk about is things that people create from their from their heads. Right. True. Yeah. Cool. You were trying to say something. Oh, guys, my name is Switcher. I'm a DJ. Please follow me on my socials. It's DJ. <laughs> it's DJ underscore switcher on Facebook and Instagram. Switcher underscore DJ on Twitter. TikTok, DJ Switcher. And please follow my, my YouTube channel as well. Okay. It's DJ um, Switcher. Same for the podcast. Remember to follow us on our socials. That's at podcast. ZM on Instagram. That's at podcast on Facebook. TikTok, the same one. That's at podcast. And also... Uh, remember to support the people that support us. We've got brothers, four flavors of the mocktails. We've got strawberry, lime crisp, mojito, pina colada, and the Cosmo. You will find these in any supermarket worth its salt. Not yet my supermarket. Like a real supermarket, you find these because these are rude. I'm just joking. You will find these drinks in any shop that stocks Big Tree uh, beverages products. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of that right now because as, uh, we spoke about distribution with the company last weekend. They're saying they're actually going wider now in terms of distribution and all across the country. They're also sponsoring events. They sponsored Switchers out. They so. sponsored your yeah, gig. Yeah. So support the people that support us in the next episode. Have a lovely day. May the good Lord richly bless you. Dun 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 dun